Hi, this is Andy Orm of O'Reilly. I'm talking with Ron Gutman, the founder of HealthTap, which is a service for doctors and patients. Ron can tell us more about it, and we're going to be talking about their use of data and a recommendation system to uh, improve what patients get when they do searches. So just tell us a bit about HealthTap and the background of this, Ron. Sure, Andy, and uh, thank you very much for the opportunity again. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, great to chat with you, and I'm happy to tell you uh, about HealthTap, which is now a network of uh, uh, almost 47,000 U.S. licensed physicians in good standing that will answer any health question that you have for free in minutes or in a few hours. Uh, you can ask a question about health and healthy living, uh, about things that are acute or about things that are chronic, and there's always going to be a doctor there, or many doctors actually, 24/7, uh, that will pick up your question uh, and answer it. It's uh, it's personalized, uh, it's dynamic, uh, it's interactive, uh, and most importantly, it's real time. Uh, you know, the, we are used to going to the internet to to find information uh, about our health, but I mean, it's it's more akin to you know going to a doctor asking a question, and the doctor uh, instead of an answer will hand you like a, a bunch of articles to read at home. Uh, and that's even better because at least the doctor curated the articles for you. Uh, on the web, you, you just go in and read articles or, or go into message board. And I think that the, what people really want uh, when they have a health problem, when they have a, a pain, when they have a, either a physical pain or, or an emotional pain, what they really want is an answer to their question. They want it crisp. They want it succinct. They want it immediate. And they want it to be about them not about a condition, a disease, uh, a symptom, a sign. It really want to be about them and about their question. And I think that it's the first model that is personalized, it's interactive, it's real time, and it's about you. And what you've told me about the reactions that patients give you, the, the mail they send you, is that they are very happy with those uh, answers. Yeah, I think that the, the, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, if you look at the rating of our apps, they're, on, they're all you know, between four and a half and five stars. People love the app, and you know they, they're we're getting uh, uh, notes from users every single day, thousands of notes of people that thank us for the service. And within these notes, uh, between thirty and fifty notes every day, uh, thank us for saving people's lives. And I think that this is huge. I mean, building software uh, that starts by you know putting together bits and bytes and ends with uh, lives saved every single day—it's amazing. And I think that. You know, I realized it last weekend when I woke up and, you know, went for my run and thought, why am I so energized? Why am I so excited to think about the, the next thing that we're building? And I, I realized that I, I just woke up, but while I was sleeping, the software that we built uh, was saving lives when I was sleeping. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty cool. So tell me a bit about the use of the data and the recommendations. Uh, you're improving all the time the uh, quality of the search results. Absolutely, and and data is very key to uh, to what we are uh, that what we're doing here at HealthTap, and uh, we collected a tremendous amount of uh, of data, and we will have an opportunity to speak about it in Strata RX uh, in, in at the end of this month, uh, and in part of what we're using data for is really improving the answers that we're giving people and how we're doing that. You know, we built an extensive ontology. Uh, that is a consumer-based ontology and how people express themselves in, in health and well-being and organize all the concepts and all the words and the way people express themselves in a way that makes it easy for us to build algorithms that direct the right question to the right set of doctors without really reading the question. Uh, and I think this is key because it's based not only uh, on the doctor map, uh, the mapping between the doctor specialties and the questions that are asked, but it goes very deep into the uh, granular expertise of the doctor. So we have this notion that's called known for, and every doctor on health app has a set of granular topics that they're known for, and we are aware of these topics by looking at what doctors are answering questions and how they're peer reviewed by their answers. So every doctor that answers a question gets their answer reviewed by their peers. And when they are getting high reviews, a lot of doctors agree with them. We know that the granular expertise in this particular subtopic is very strong. Uh, we also mapped our ontology to the ontologies uh, out on the web, particularly the one that are, uh, that are created by the National Library of Medicine uh, in, in PubMed. And, and we mapped our 
ontology to, uh, to the ontology is there. And that really helps us because when you look at this huge repository of peer review articles uh, on PubMed and you see uh, the, 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 uh, which doctors are associated with which peer reviewed journal articles, you can understand in depth the granular expertise of this doctor. Because if a doctor spends months and sometimes years of their career diving deep into understanding a certain topic and writing uh, an article that was peer reviewed and published, and it was cited by many other uh, physicians and researchers, that means that they have very granular expertise in this topic. And that's really helpful for us because we're taking data from the engagement on Health Tab, but we also take the data from engagement elsewhere, for example, in peer reviewed journals. For example, if these doctors won awards in certain areas, if they give talks in all kinds of conferences uh, that have particular expertise in this area, all these factors into our understanding of what this doctor is known for. And we're using this data in combination with our ontology in order to direct the right question to the right doctor at the right time so they can answer your question. And that's very powerful. That is a very big structure combining a lot of inputs. And I think there's another input still into this, and that is that when ordinary people sign up on this site, they can uh, enter personal data about themselves, and you can use that to help direct the questions too. Exactly. That's on the other side. So we have an expertise graph on the, on the physician side, but then we have a personal health graph on the, on the user side, on the customer side, on the patient side, right? So when you come to Health Up, you don't need to fill out your profile. What we actually are doing is making it very easy for you to basically ask a question using your own language, right? So we give you 150 characters, but when you're done answering, asking your question, we use our knowledge base. And again, we use the data that we have in the system itself to identify in your question what in particular you're interested in. And what we will do then is basically tailor to you three particular question about your background that can help the doctor give you a better answer in this, on this particular question, which is really valuable to you. And we're going to ask questions about, for example, age, gender, if you're taking a certain type of medication, or if you have any prior condition, or, or you had any procedures or surgeries uh, conducted. And that will, again, help the doctor give you a more personalized answer to your question. Uh, but even more importantly, because the, this question was submitted by you to the doctor, not only that you get an answer that is better for your question, but it really be, remains available for the next person uh, that comes to Health Tap. Now, you are anonymous. Although the doctor answered your question, you're going to get the answer back to you. Uh, the question without your identity and the answers from multiple doctors who gave you answers will go back into a repository and will serve millions of people in the future. But here's the interesting thing, not only in a semantically matching uh, manner, but also we're going to use the fact that we know some attributes about you, for example, age, gender, prior, medica prior conditions, medications, etc. And the next person that comes to Health Up with the same characteristics, with the same attributes, will get an answer that is more specifically uh, related to them. And that, that's huge. That's, the first time that actually personalization is done in healthcare, in information, uh, online, using mobile apps, and that's extremely powerful. And it seems like you've succeeded in doing what many practices would like and many public health agencies would like. You have a system for storing data in a structured way and then delivering the best answer you can. Absolutely, and we have a huge database right now. I mean, we, we're testing this database all the time for completion. And the beautiful thing is that you can think about the world uh, as our QA team. And, and in what way? Uh, so every day, people come to Help Up, and we're serving millions of people every month. So we're actually serving several people per second, as you and I are talking right now. And people come to Help Up and ask a question. And before we send their question to doctor, we actually are going to show them first a set of answers that were answered to people like them that asked the same question. Now, the user can look at it and say, oh, yeah, this is exactly what I'm asking. Thank you very much. You just gave me exactly what I wanted in, in several milliseconds, and I'm really happy. Thank you so much. Or they can say, no, actually, I'm interested in this angle that this answer is not covering. So I'm going to push my question with this particular angle to doctors to get an answer very quickly. But here's what the interesting thing is. What they basically did is they QA'd our database and said, well, you're missing this angle. 
you should have it in your system. Let me send it to a doctor. The doctor will answer it in a few minutes. And now we have it in a database to, to basically serve millions of people going forward. And that's extremely powerful because this is a dynamic database that grows all the time, right? And covers more and more particular cases, go deeper and deeper into the long tail and becomes a, a, the, the world's most amazing and most extensive repository of answers to health questions. And Andy, you should imagine what's possible to do with a repository like that when it starts serving population where people don't even have access to doctors at all. And once again, this mm -hmm. is, these are people with low level of education, where they, not, they don't have the ability to do research like you and I do. They just want answers to their questions, right? So what, what can you do with an amazing repository like that with, with some machine learning uh, and some, some good algorithm work in directing the right answer to the right person when they need it most, when they don't have access to doctors from a mobile device that they will have very soon. That's amazing. Yes. I'm also impressed that when people uh, ask a question, you can feed them just a few questions to refine it. And this contrast with going to the doctor where usually you have two or three sheets loaded up with questions and you have to go down and check everything and it takes half an hour to do that. It's contextual. I mean, this is data, right? This is the power of data. When we understand something about you and can put it in context. And by the way, our best friend is the usage uh, of the app because the more people use it, the, the fewer questions we need to ask you because we can start making the connections and, and know that if you are doing something like that, we can assume that something that is related to it uh, would be related to you as well. So you're going to do less and less work and we're going to give you options to fill out some of these information uh, in a way that is seamless. You're just going to say, oh, here's what we think uh, is the right thing. You should just say, you know, quick yes or no. So this is not about filling up your profile. This is really about getting uh, the relevant data that will help you accomplish what you need to accomplish in the short term, but in the long term, we'll create this repo amazing repository of data about you that will help you solve whatever the next uh, challenge or the next concern that you are dealing with. It also sounds like you're uh, working on another uh, of the big problems that doctors are working on, which is to really meet the patient's need, respond to the patient, and not just do what the doctor thinks is important for a condition. Yeah, I think that, you know, the, 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 the whole notion of interactivity, the whole notion of being patient-centric, the, the whole notion of being real-time. You know, I think that we are, even, even the word patient is, is something that I, I, I don't understand because, you know, when we are uh, not feeling well, uh, the last thing that we are is patient. Mm -hmm. We're actually very impatient. So, so what we are trying to do at HealthTap is give you access in real time to these doctors and have a conversation. And most importantly, like you just said now, have it be about you, about your need. You are feeling bad, you are anxious, you are impatient, you want immediate gratification, you want it to be all about you and about your particular needs, not about being one off and get like a, a, a one solution fits all kind of a thing, but you want it to be tailored to you. And I think that using uh, digital channels enables us for the first time to be real time on the one hand, but also be personalized and being really specific about your needs. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the Strata audience? Uh, no, I'm very excited about uh, meeting amazing people that uh, you know, are using data to solve big problems uh, in the world, particularly in health. I think that this is you know, a space that, uh, that needs a lot of innovation. And I'm, I'm really excited to, uh, to be part of, uh, of this event where, you know, people who are passionate about uh, helping others and about finding ways to, to use data to do good in the world, you know, come together uh, to geek out and have fun and, and talk about changing the world for the better. I don't think anyone could be more passionate than you, Ron. I'm sure everyone is as passionate as I am, and I'm excited to meet them. Thank you. Okay, have a great day, Andy.